Um, so way of a catch up, if you guys missed this on Wednesday, this is Twin Mirror. We arrive back to the small town in which I'm guessing we grew up in. We seem like we're sort of 30 to 40, somewhere around there. We left after we broke a story that closed down the town mine and everyone hated us. We returned as our best friend, our old best friend, died for their funeral. We get there. Um, the guy's kid thinks that it was a bit suspicious and has asked us to look into it. We were looking into it. We found a dead body of some other guy. We got blood all over us. We had blacked out, so we weren't sure if it was us, but we think it's not us, but we don't really know for sure. We think there's some sort of conspiracy going on. And we're sort of investigating it. Our ex is here, a girl that we asked to marry us and said no to us. And then she got with the friend who is now dead. And we're investigating what's going on. And sometimes we go to our mind palace and, uh, you know, think about things as you do. And that's kind of where we're at with Twin Mirror. And it's by Don't Nod who have done some of the Life is Strangers, as well as Vampyr, which I'm a fan of. Ah, a nice walk in the wilderness of West Virginia. Have we changed our outfit? Same jacket, right? Got the hood Last over time it. I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't fit them all. And this is Anna's house. Looks better than it did two years ago. Handicap accessible van. It's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm at the doctor's more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. Hmm. He could... He, he knows his mind. You know, Anna, Joe's pretty sharp for an old man who can't walk. That's right. And Sam here's got a good mind for a fool-headed kid. <laughs> Dad, I love you. And I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house. Your rules. I feel like that thing would be a nightmare to drive on all that grass. So before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong, but she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. Oh, okay. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe... I don't know. Should She's I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like Oh, yeah, we have this guy out. in our head. I can't blame him. And time freezes. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. Promise or refuse? I mean, what, it would be odd to refuse if somebody said, hey, can you promise me you'll keep an eye on them and take care of them? You'd be like, no, not my responsibility. That makes no sense. I think you would promise and say, of course, I'll do my best. I will watch over them. I will take care of them. Right? Do it. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you on this. We have a decent relationship with I'm this guy, it kid. seems like, so we'll be honest. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. See how bad it is. <laughs> that must be the most satisfying thing to do to someone, like, sort of Dr. Evil style, when you turn your back on them, you know? It's like so cold, dude. But maybe I should look around the property first. 
that's like so much more impactful and effective than just turning your back on someone and walking away. Like if somebody disappointed you and you happen to be in one of those mobility things just to zzz and turn around. It's just so slow paced that it would be kind of heartbreaking. You'd regret everything. Wouldn't matter what you did. Um, Phoebe Knight, thank you so much for the 100 biddies and welcome. Jones Red Baron, been staying there for a while. It's bugs. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. New monitor. There you go. A gabibo. Favorite spot in the garden. I mean, this is actually a really nice place for a house, isn't it? This front garden and a bloody stream going next to it. This is dream kind of stuff for somewhere to live. Gorgeous. I guess that's the advantage of these small towns, right? It's all the land. You just don't have, uh, you know, shops nearby, but... If you could get everything in and just, like, chill. It was great to come back from work, sit down, and read until the sun went down. Anna and I spent our nights out here, trying to find all the constellations... I bet the stars look amazing out here in the middle of nowhere without the light pollution as well. It's odd how the neighbors are placed, right? Kind of hickledy pickledy, just. Oh, there's a neighbor's house just over there randomly. Leads to Nick's shack, takes about an hour. I used to follow it down to the shack every other week for Fishing Sunday. Mm hmm. People who live here just constantly needing the bathroom. Just from the stream constantly. Sent from a mourner. Anna probably couldn't handle taking it inside. Free ASMR. It's a really odd thing. You ever go anywhere where there's that sound of like waves? If you sort of stay by the seaside or something. And then if you're there for a week or so, when you come back, everything feels deathly silent because you're just so used to the shh just coming in constantly. Shattered glass. This is how whoever it was broke into the house. Oh yeah, someone broke into a house. I remember what we're doing here now. Okay. <laughs> we came here because there's been a break in and I'm just standing out the front talking about how nice the place looks and look at this lovely stream. She's inside like, can I get some help? is not well. This time, at least, try to be there for her. This guy is so judgy. Anna? Um, Anna, are you... Are you okay? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. How do you not it's know how thought, to human? The effort. Didn't you date for years? Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. This is why you broke up, dude. What's this? She what's our character's name, kitchen, by the way? I can't remember. And then they called him Nick then, but Nick was the uh, friend, wasn't it? Anna's posters. Always needed to make her space her own. Spill ink, not blood. Cyber darkness. Placeholder poster. Medical bills. Too high for Joe to cover on his own. Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. Mind Palace. 
probably should have got her a drink before I went inside my brain. Like being inside an ice cube. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know. Ouch. Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. I'm in my mind, palace. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. Is that meant to be taken literally? Like he would get tuned out? Can we speak to her? Can we ask her what she wants? I've never even had my car broken into. It's hard to imagine how she feels. Mm, I was gonna say, you have to feel for anyone who's had like their place turned over or anything. It is like such a violation. This feels like the only part of the house I recognize. Whatever punk broke in here wrecked it. Punk. Not the records. What did you think was going to be amongst the records? There. <laughs> All better. So proud of himself. Books, mostly sociology, history, and writing manuals. The same as before. Same as it ever was. And they trashed this place. Alright, a drink. Let's get her a drink. What's this? I'm sorry about yesterday, you're right. I have been distant. Things have been pretty messy at work lately. You don't have to forgive me, but if you'd like me to invite me to a concert, I'll leave these two here. There might be some pepperoni rolls in the fridge. Wink. Nick. Ah, uh, he got her tickets to the placeholders. Which, as we saw from the picture, is her favorite. France. And I always wanted to visit France. But life is just too strange for me there. En français? Je m'appelle? Making a drink for Anna would be a good way to show her you're here for her. I mean, uh, okay. This place is a bit of a mess, though. Anna, honey, where'd you keep the cups? <sighs> Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? In the pantry. She normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Oh yeah, Sam. That's us. around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. Looking through a box of old things is. We'd be here for hours. It's um. It's so like. Nostalgic, isn't it? Hits you. Oh, here we go. Ah, here's where she keeps the drinks. I always end up just feeling sad after I look through a box of old mementos and stuff. Uh, oh, we're picking what to give her chocolate drink, lime juice, or whiskey. She got the hazelnut and the almond in here as well. Um... Choosing. Oh, I love that. Lime juice. Can you just drink lime juice? Is that like lime juice, like orange juice, or literally lime juice that you would use as a mixer? Wh whiskey would be like, oh, here's a stiff drink to settle your nerves. But we're going to be cute. We're going to go for the chocolate drink. Who? Chalky milk make the pain go away, you know? Like, 100%. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. 
Thanks. Ah, chalky milk. I really hope she appreciates this. And isn't like, what am I, a child, Sam? Wait, where's the drink? I'm not holding it. Did I put it in my pocket? Am I gonna magically have it? Chocolate helps everyone feel better. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just, this is just so fucked. Nick, my house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this like the worst coincidence? It's definitely connected. Give her the drink, it let her go on. Death. Did his murderer break into my house? God. Hmm. You're not alone. Here, have a drink. It'll help. Why would you drink chocolate milk out of a mug like that, though? It's got to be in a glass. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's helping a bit. Told you. Kind of some interesting pictures you have on the wall there. Yeah, milk in a glass, not in a mug. Mugs are for hot drinks. It would put such an odd vibe on everything, knowing that they got together after you left. So orc. Taken down after Joe's accident. He wanted it put back. Where's all this? What's the noise here? The bloody blinds. Come here. Eh. Very particular. Finally, there. What shape of thing I drink out of as well. I think we have to take a look upstairs. I know you want to help her by finding out what happened. Right now, though, stay focused on Anna. She needs to know she's not alone. <laughs> Why are you just chilling on the floor like we're having a sleepover? Hey, are you feeling better? Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah. I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. Ask him or just answer. I'm tired of hearing from him. We can think for ourselves. Whatever happens, you're not alone. We'll face it together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Reminding her she has people to lean on is a great start. This whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in, it was nice, but lately he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights, at the bar or the fishing shack, come home late probably. refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. Wow, thanks. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Does she, dude? <laughs> Don't be too harsh on her. <laughs> My feelings. Yeah, I was like, when you went, and then I got with that other guy, and oh god, it was the moments that were unbearable, it was like being back with you. It was just like being with you. You. Unbearable you. 
fine. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house. It's... It's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. <laughs> but then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. We did have a good Being, time. You understand why I said no, right? It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Um, we do know why he said no. You didn't want a ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now. And I thank you for that. You know? It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. I don't know, I keep comparing us. The way Feels Nick great. closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone, to truly share my life, to make compromises and all that. I think we just had a breakthrough here, and that's our time. That'll be $300, please. I'm not Nick. Stop comparing us. He may have been your boyfriend, but Nick was my best friend since we were kids. This is hard for me too, you know? I, I know you didn't mean it like that, just... Calm down, Sam. If you start spiraling now, this isn't gonna end well. Just, he was my best friend. It still hurts. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and... I wouldn't say it's a spiral. I think it's, like, healthy done, to, for him to share and that, And we're on our own if we're gonna find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean... Um... Sure. I want to know who killed Nick as much as you do. Let's get the asshole who did this behind bars. It's the only thing we can do for Nick now. We just keep bouncing back from terrified to angry. That is very understandable. Hey, remember how we found a dead body Can like two hours ago? Upstairs. I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Take your time. I'll like tell you. Like probably somebody wrong. you knew in the small town. You remember that? Thanks. Remember how we left that body back there? And how I woke up covered in blood. There are bigger things going on. Okay, what do we have? Joe's first birthday after the accident. I remember taking this photo. Not seeing it like this. It's not what Anna needed. Hmm. Looks like a pretty hefty bathtub, doesn't it? What an odd sort of spacing of bathroom furniture. <gasps> a mirror message. Watch your back. As if her week wasn't bad enough already. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. Twin toothbrushes. Nick was very moved in. His toothbrush was here. Why is it so dark in here? Hmm. Anna's stuff still here. Searched cupboard. They were clearly looking for something. This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. Yeah, we don't know anything about this other person yet. It's a mystery. Hasn't been explained. There was a transfer going on. Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? Are they still here? <gasps> oh no. Uh. 
Looked like it was that kid from Sam. the pharmacy to me. Sam. Who was that? Sam! Are you okay? Little uh, little breaking bad. I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. Must have interrupted them. That's so scary. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? That guy was just up here listening to us talk about our breakup whilst you drank chocolate milk. That's embarrassing. Um, let's find the man. We need to find the man that clocked me over the head. They know what they took, and I bet anything they knew Nick. Has Nick seen or been talking to anyone out of the ordinary lately? Anyone new? No. No, I don't I don't think so. I I don't. Actually, over the last few months, remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns. Is that like one. three studs, I like went there three separate and piercings in her ear? He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. Said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly meeting someone there to interview for a story? It'd be worth taking a look. Your father called, said there'd been a break-in. Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. Yeah, why, do, why did they rest. take so long to get For here? Sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. We've been here drinking like chocolate milk. something, it might be there. Sorry, I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go. I think it's pretty common now, isn't it, to have like multiple ear piercings in different spots and stuff. Nick's fishing shack. A whole shack. Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Hmm. Is this just like permanent tire marks or was something here recently? I guess it's just from constantly stuff coming up and down here, I guess. Uh, Yoshi ACNH Lover. Like two of my favorite things there. Yoshi, one of my favorite characters, especially in Mario. If I had to pick a favorite. Mario character, Yoshi. Although, always Koopa Trooper, old school Mario Kart. Um, and I'm guessing ACNH is Animal Crossing. Thank you so much for the sub, welcome. I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. Burnt. This is a very big fishing shack. Bug? Muley? How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. Try and stop me, Shmi. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. I feel like most kids have done that, right? A lot of people have done the whole, I've packed my bag, 
I'm going. <laughs> Don't try and stop me. I'm going out the door now. Okay, bye. Oh, well, as you not stopped me. Is there something wrong with your mom? No, I'm running away because things are so great. Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down, think of the common good. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Ouch. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Like a lump. Look, I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. Open up to your mum. Don't make the mistakes I made. You can always count on me. Um, gosh. I don't think opening up to her mum is going to work here. It sounds like that is having a bit of a breakdown. And we met the mum. She didn't seem that great, to be honest. Um, don't make the mistakes I made. He's a little preachy. You can always count on me. Feels like the right thing to say, but it also kind of feels like a lie with this guy. Because we already left once, and I feel like that's going to get thrown back in our face, but we'll try it. I'm here now, Bug. I have your back. I promised you I would look into your father's death, and I'm doing it. I'm here now, Bug. Listening. I was there in the parking lot, listening. Yeah, well... But... You're just going to leave again mm. another two years? Forever? I think I'm done depending on others. Abandonment issues. My dad I could rely on. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. You ran away on your horse. That's amazing. I mourn him too. I'm investigating. Everyone cares. Well, everyone clearly doesn't care, but I do. He was my best friend. Trust me, I care. I... I just want to know what happened. What really happened. Me too, Bug. You just gotta trust that I'm really looking into this. Okay? I know you're doing your best. It's just this town, you know? It just feels like it grinds you down. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In ten years? You like insects. How about someone who studies them? Would you like to be an entomologist? Go around the world, collecting bugs. You remember? Yeah, bugs are cool. That does sound fun. You can leave Basswood that way, but you can't do it without finishing school. It won't be easy, but it's better than just wandering out in the dark. Focus yourself on your goals. I know your father would be proud of that. Look, I'm gonna find out what really happened to him, okay? And you and I, we'll figure this out. About what's next for you, about your mom, life. I need you to trust me. I need you to give me some more time. Success. A few days. You have a few days. All right, don't you get want me to bossy. Drive you back home? No, it's fine. I need to take my bike back anyway. I'll see you later. All right? I promise. For real this time. I'm going to hold you to that. Making a lot of promises, Sam. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town. Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. Let's have a look. Let's have a butcher's. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. 
Has everything Nick wanted to keep away from Locked. June? Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Mm hmm. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get at anyway. Searching. No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. Really, uh. Not even gonna have a feel around. You're just. Looking with your eyeballs. A growth chart. Man, Bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. She's gotten pretty mature now. Bunk beds. Why is, what is the two dots on that? Moldy pillow? Bug never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. Are those like massive Lego pieces in there? What is that? Uh, possible hiding spot. It has to be here. he doesn't have one of those talking fish things. <laughs> what a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. Weapons? Like many people, Nick kept a few guns. But never at home, and always locked up. Cleaning stuff, a hat, a calendar. Some pills, some lighters. D wants to meet. It has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. Are we, is it not Dennis? Isn't Dennis the name of the guy that died? It has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. I got shot, maybe it's a different D. Drugs. These are pretty heavy duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Give him a try. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. Journal. Is this my article? How do I read it? There we go. One small community looks out for those that fall through the cracks by Anna Miller. I'm interviewing Tyler, a man of few words in his mid-twenties and heavily tattooed about the place he lives and why he's here. It's cold enough that I regret not bringing a second jacket. His hands, however, are not shaking because of the cold. This is his seventh relapse. On his second relapse, he lost his girlfriend. On the fourth, his family. The one after that, he attempted to rob his parents' home, but was instead beaten nearly to death by his father. It's not like I wanted to hurt them. I just needed money, and I felt so bad that I thought I was dying. My parents' place was the only place I knew for sure that there was some crap that I could sell. <sighs> Dad caught me. I tried to talk to him, but he whooped my ass. Beat me with a lamp. I don't blame him. I didn't fight back. I was too ashamed. I needed a whooping. I still need a whooping. Looking for a whooping. Lynette Branham, 52, with graying hair, looks on with compassionate eyes. Lynette is the one that owns the land and sets the rules. She's judge, jury, and execution. And when it comes to deciding who stays and who goes, this place is called The Cove. When the local mine closed, a lot of people found themselves out of work, and some of them had no place to go. Drugs and crimes made them fall into the patterns desperate people often fall into, and Lynette found some of them camping out on her property. <sighs> she let them stay as long as they follow the two rules. No stealing, no fighting. Oh my god, this is so long. Just, okay. People did drugs. Anna, write less. Jeez. Okay. What else is here? So there's nothing... Oh, a note. Yawn! No wonder print media's on the way out. Jeez. If it doesn't fit in a TikTok, let's um, move on. Caterpillar. Yellow up, red right, green down, dots left. Hmm. Remember. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? 
Okay. So the right. code. I think I went through everything here. <laughs> Just go back into her. She's still crying about the break-in. Man, I found some article out there. Oof, oof. If I ever need something to fall asleep to, I send who? They call him Sammy Social Q. He knows just what to say at the right time. Uh, take this note. Yeah. Okay, what do you want me to if do? If Nick kept this, it means it's important. I just have to figure out why. Okay. What are we doing here, Sam? We already looked at these. Found clues. Right? Let me see what the journal says. Search the shack. Did my best to talk to Joan. What was he working on? Better have a look around. Okay, maybe there's something else we uh, missed here. Go out the back. Foggy. Nico, hopefully I'm saying that right. Thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, I appreciate you. Thank you for the support. Fish ruler, his record catch. Now, this record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. Hell yeah. <laughs> Tonya Tonjez, thank you so much. Whoever well, told Nick, I probably know him. Grew up with them. I appreciate you, thank you. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Nick, Dennis, gone. A stone cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. I kind of get Alan Wake vibes from this game sometimes. I would have loved to have finished that game. I just kind of got bored by the combat after a few hours. I would have loved that to just be a story game without that stuff, honestly. Okay, having a little think. A comic book. Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. Hmm. What's happened here? Check everything. I like the extra pace on the walk. Not something Nick would have done back then. Hunting trophy. But I can't do anything with it. Fishing rods, locker, tableware. Search the shack. What have I not seen? Oh, this bag. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. No? Maybe there's something with these, then. If Dee met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. Mm-hmm. Right. He wants to meet, sure. Oh, it's such an awkward control scheme. The note, sure. Caterpillar, 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 caterpillar. Yellow, red, blue, and green. Okay, so what in here is like that? Is there something, is there a toy caterpillar or something? Jones things? Bug never was the social type, just like me. Is that a pink bear in there? What is that? Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. Definitely a bear of some kind. I think. Caterpillar. <gasps> There's Caterpillar. Nick's note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. Okay. Superbug. Right, so there's the caterpillar. We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. 
How much did you change, Nick? Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too. Mm -hmm. Nick's note mentioned a caterpillar. Okay. I think I just found it. So, this says... Yellow up. Red right. Green down. That color left. And then what do I do with that? Why don't you just bring that over here so we can look at it at the same time, Sam? Next note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. So that would be what? Up. Right. Left. Up. Down. Is that like from here? Like to see where he is? What does that mean? Do I have to actually bloody write this down? Where is the pen? God's fucking hell, Sherlock in here. Man's got a mind palace, but can't even remember these colors to himself. Red, green, Call that blue, red, yellow. Okay. Inspect. <gasps> Wait, maybe it's on this article. I'm getting it. I'm piecing it together. Okay, so then it goes to the right, to the down, to the left. To the right, to the up. So now we have our directions. Okay. Oh, wait, no, look at that thing. Look at the table. Okay, there we go. Look. Please don't tell me I have to read this. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. A commune. Maybe it's on the calendar. If D met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. No, it's not that's not what it is, is it? it must be something else. It must be some kind of code. Cleaned in the last few weeks. Nick came here recently. Fishing rods, hunting trophy. Maybe there's something out front. Search the shack. I found the thing. Doesn't know what to do with the thing. It's gonna make me turn around. something in this tree. You guys have a fish? You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance Hooks you the big one. The three P's. Dad, not everything is a life lesson. Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Oh, that's fine. He's got a lot to learn. You know, I'm better at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Why does saying so I'm cute. better at life than sure. you to a friend feel so aggressive? Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I, I uh... I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a bug. Just hand them over and I'll bait it. No! I'd be an accomplice then! Dad, don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything anyways.
You know, here's a quote that I like to think about that makes life make a little more sense to me. Yeah, well, I'm better at life than you. Uh, okay. Sam had issues. Still has issues. Mm -hmm. He's still alive. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. He did win at the end, didn't he? Aha. This is either new or Nick was really distracted. He usually fixed everything. Or not. Aha. Worm-eaten wood. The worm had its revenge. Sitting on a bench. Mm -hmm. Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. Yeah, fishing's really chill. I used to go every so often at the river. But I haven't been for many, 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 many years. So back in here, even though he kind of said he'd seen everything. Maybe there's something else. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. Nothing, no secret doorways or anything. So he said, oh, I found that caterpillar. Okay, then what? Man, bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. She's gotten pretty mature now. He looks at this. Next note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. Okay, but then what, Sam? Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. I wish I wouldn't repeat the same thing. Clearly Bug was there too. Um, there used to be a calendar right here. Why'd he take it down? Empty spot. Okay, there used to be a calendar there. This calendar. If D met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. Oh my god. I can't click on this. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. I don't know, man. <laughs> Anna's back at the house. Where's Sam? Is he in his mind palace? Just aimlessly Bug walking around the, the shack for type. 30 minutes. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. Don't lose your bloody mind in a minute. Search the shack. Nothing in the bucket. Nothing here. Walking around. Waiting for the answer to pause. Into my brain. Oh, that has now appeared. Cool, thanks, game. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Hey, Sam, why didn't you just grab that bag the first time we looked at it, huh? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, right. Down. There. Right. Up. Let's see what we have here. The clunk. The jank. Okay, some cash. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. In a decade? <gasps> Drugs. Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. 
It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Okay. Let's have a look. Case files. Richard Steinfeld. This is definitely the person that hit us over the back of the head. Uh, early 30s. Twitchy, even when sober. High strung. Obviously disliked by the Cove. Asked not to be named in Anna's article because of his father who runs a shipping company. Smarter than he looks or as dumb as he acts? Hard to say. Both. Still using? Yes. Who is the dealer? Tyler, Lynette, JR, Kayla, Dickie. Richard is Dickie. It's a nickname. Dickie sold drugs to Tyler. Find out who his supplier is. Tyler, Gilliam, mid 20s, sees himself as the Cove's protector, defensive of Lynette. Tyler's interview with Anna was heartbreaking. He was bad off. So bad, in fact, that I was legitimately surprised to find him alive the next time I visited the Cove. He certainly wouldn't have been the first member of the group to be claimed by an OD in the middle of the night. Very aggressive. Been in and out of jail for most of his life, usually for assault. Don't antagonize. Clean since interview. Where did he get his drugs? JR. Interviewed by Anna, but didn't make it into the article. Oh, man. Cut out, you know? JR's been living on the road, working whenever he can as a handyman. He came to Basswood, a miner. After the mine closed, he was arrested for drug possession. Keeps to himself, trying to get clean. It's an ongoing process. Took up smoking, trying to replace other habits. Hasn't worked. Justin Reynolds. Collects hubcaps. Has a Winchester in his truck. Rolls his own cigarettes. Taught me how. Still uses occasionally. Loves camo. Of course he does. This one. Richard. A.K.A. Dicky, A.K.A. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant. Dickie. Probably a low-level drug dealer. And he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. We called this as soon as Dickie we saw this kid Nick coming out of the pharmacy, didn't we? Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, the Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. There we go. Finally out of the shack. Bess finally left. Did you find anything at the fish spot? Yes. Do you know where the Cove is? It's a little commune thing on the outskirts of town. Not big on outsiders. I'll arrive soon or let's go. Uh, let's take over this. I need you to take me there. Let's go there. <laughs> Why does this kind of feel like maybe it was in another language to begin with? I need you to take me there. Let's go there. I have a sort of m vague memory of a lot of the Life is Strange people being French. I wonder if it's the same with this. I could be Best wrong there. my statement about the break-in. She didn't mention you. It won't be long before someone finds Dennis. Then they'll be looking for me. We need to stay focused on tracking down Dickie. He was Nick's informant and he's our only lead. I owe it to Joan to find the truth. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What the are you two doing? The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. Shut up, bro. Show them. That makes sense. The Cove is a wonderful place. A sort of commune. Lynette who runs it, she lets anyone in who follows her rules. No real questions asked. It's mostly filled with desperate people, though. Recovering junkies, ex-gang members, and... You'll need to be extra careful. Some of them used to work at the mine. Yeah, I was gonna say. They probably ended up taking drugs so, because of him. How should we handle finding Dickie? You and I are gonna figure something out together. Lost their jobs worry. and then or worry a little. Down the spiral. A ton. <laughs> oh, trust me. I'm worried a ton. Just not a shit ton. We just need to be careful and look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. 
Just be careful about the lion. That's enough. What's enough? Oh no. Uh, enough of a plan. I th think we have enough of a plan. Let the crazy sleep slip I just out. Get so angry that someone did this. Killed my friends. Invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. We need to find out who did this. I need to take back from them what they took. I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. Hmm. Letting that despair break you down? That's how whoever did all this wins. Hiding crime behind tragedy. We have to stay clear-headed to see through it. Yeah, you're right. I think. Then I think something else ten seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting brained by burglars. And now we're riding straight into the back. That's not fair. Shut up. Sam. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I didn't... I just... I didn't mean it that way. Don't... Don't take all of this out on me. This is a little... So you're just going to keep telling me off. Disregard my advice. He's being kind of, uh... Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. <laughs> Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Well, don't Here. leave. It's just you were being it's helpful up until this point. Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Oh, boy. Right. He seemed quite caring up until right. this point, and then it just felt like he was just talking smack in my ear in the car. Telling me how useless I was, so I'm not sure. The Cove. Sam, you sure you want to keep going? Sure. Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. I'm fine. You're sure? You can rest in the car while I ask around. Would you ever live, like, in a sort of off-the-grid commune type of thing? Who the, the hell are you? somewhere. Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? My good sir, so many of your tattoos were very bad choices. Let's begin there. I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? Oh. This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? And then do the talking. It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah, I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. Okay, well, my commune will be so much better than that, that people will end up there when they have plenty of things going on. <gasps> oh my god, is this Bear Island? There'll be one of these at the entrance to my commune. Two of them, in fact. Look at the statue, Sam. Look at it. Look at it. Looks like it was finished recently. Why a bear? Why not a bear, Sam, is the answer to that question. We've been over this at the beginning of the stream. Why not a bear? Ow! Watch it! The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Fair enough. I'm Kayla. What do you want? 
what is with this place and bad tattoos? I feel like, you know, it's been established that you end up here by making terrible decisions in your life, and this is just an extension of that. I probably shouldn't question it. Also, this hairstyle, more bad decisions. Make better decisions with your tattoos, with whatever's going on in the back of your head. And then uh, maybe things won't be so bad. Kayla, you know Ethan? Yeah, I knew him. You're his sister, right? I was. So, are you going to tell me what you're here for? I'm looking for a guy named Dickie. I don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud. Goes off-road, has four wheels, makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. No. He could still be here right now. This is super I cool, though. more info to figure out where Dickie is. Kind of scary around the front. I mean, look how chill this is. This looks absolutely cozy as anything. She's waking up. She's doing her hobby. She's whittling away. She's making things. She's got a whole beautiful bench. An awesome looking bed. That's a little scary. Mm -hmm. Rough but functional. Tag yourself. Cooking on that. I thought it was a vinyl for a second. Very nice, very, very cozy, nice little home. Here we don't call 911. Well, okay. From one end of the spectrum to the other. I really like camo. I got camo everywhere. I camouflage the inside of my tent so if the pigs ever show up, they won't see me when I'm in my camo pajamas. I got some camo Jim Jams. I throw myself up against the wall. I'm like a chameleon. Dear Mr. Reynolds, I regret to inform you that the West Virginia Coal Inc. filed Chapter 7 bankruptcy three days ago following a series of expensive lawsuits and fines that have brought an untenable financial situation. Consequently, your current position will be laid off of all company operations at the end of the week. Magazines, mostly about firearms and erotica. Hmm. Mining helmet, a former miner lives here. Bucket of sand. Unknown man. What's up? You have friend Kayla's or something? Name's JR, I'm... Wait, you're that fucking reporter! I was. Fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face! Or what? Oh man, that's an option. I'm so tempted. I'm just looking for Dickie. And you think I'll snitch? Get the fuck out of here. You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. Okie dokie, let's see who's over here. The flag. Ow. Nothing in here. Nice spot though. Man, everything is beautiful around here, isn't it? Anyone been to West Virginia? Is it actually this pretty? Must have been used by children. A tire swing. Ah, there's uh, Anna. Let's go say hi. What's going on? She fits right in. Anna always fits right in. Unknown woman. 
And it was going well. It's just, I don't know, hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. It's not necessary. It's not. It's not needed that information. That painfully obvious. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you? How here awkward for, would Sam? that be if your ex always introduced themselves like that? Oh, this is my friend. We used to date. She calls me a friend now, but just so you know. We're looking for Dickie. Yes, Anna told me. She's not going to help us find him. I do not throw people to the wolves. And you, Sam, are a wolf. You've never had any trouble with him. This is my land. All those who have lost their home are welcome to it. As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. Hmm, okay. I read the article Anna wrote about you and this place. Wait, you read it? When? I skimmed it. Nick's fishing shack. Oh. What led you to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. In her head, Thank she's thinking, he read my article, but, but he didn't mention it in that entire short. drive over here or tell me Your what a good writer I am or anything. Here. And even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? Donations? What kind of donations? Food and clothes, mostly. But jobs are hard to come by these days. We must rely on the kindness of others, even if their kindness comes and goes in waves. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how I'm ending conversations from now on. Do you have a moment for a talk? Something dramatic has happened. It's Dennis. I'm at the police station. So you can imagine it isn't the best conversation. Ah, oh, they found the body. Any chance you could come down here? Do you know what happened? Busy at the moment. Don't reply. Ooh. Walter. Who's Walter? He's the big boy, right? From the beginning that we had a drink with. Uh, I feel like not replying. I don't fully trust him, honestly. Haven't since the start. I just... I'm not really trusting anyone. Ugh, leave it. My gut says leave it. I don't want any kind of timeline on our phone for us being available and that Clock's body ticking. being found and stuff. Clock's to start looking for me soon. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dickie. Isolated from the others. Okay, well, there's a little shacky poos up there. We know he's got the quad bike, so maybe there's, like, tracks to follow to it. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. Oh. He's here somewhere. Okay. Well, there's a sort of hideout up there. Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. Can you look at the tracks? Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. Okay, so we need more evidence of which one it is. Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. How do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn business. <laughs> you see here, this tattoo on my arm, there's only three things I like to do in this life. And that's kind of how I ended up here, because more things than that seem to be essential to normal, civilized living. How did you and Anna meet? You're not the type she normally hangs out with. Maybe you're not the type she normally hangs out with. You ever consider that? Trust me, I have. Just tell me where Dickie is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Okay. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview. Told my story, did good by me. By us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, 
be solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it before I break your knees. It's a friend. So Dickie is in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. Okay, so we have trailers. You know enough to make an educated guess. Quad bike. Dickie's got to be in one of these places. Trailers, quad bike, and then what did that that guy, other guy, didn't give us anything, right? Because he was a miner, he was just angry. So there's three. We've got this one on the outskirts. I feel like that's got to be the biggest clue, right? These two feel too close. This one's got pretty lights up. Is he a pretty fairy light kind of kid? I don't think so. And then that over there all hidden. Maybe that one, because you can get the bike up there. Can you get a bike to this one, any house? Because it's like kind of on the water, right? Or is there a bike outside or something? He's in there. Is that a pair for all of them, though? He's in there. Which one do you think it is? Is that a bike there that I'm looking at? Oh, it's there between the bushes. I can see it. It was better camouflage than this guy's tent. There's a quad, but Dickie's supposed to be in a trailer. Oh. What, what, what about the tent behind it? I guess it's not a trailer. I know what things are. Fine, he's in this one. No, wait. There's a bike there with a trailer. He is a cute, light kind of person. Quad. Isolated. Someone lives here. Oh, never judge That's a book where by its hiding. cover. Yes. Time to pay him a visit. Just because he's a, you know, violent junkie, and he doesn't have mean he doesn't have any sort of aesthetic. I only know you by reputation, and what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here however you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Scarier men than you have tried. You should get out of my way. I crack your skull wide open, you little bitch. Hey man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna get past these two if I want to reach Dickie. Oh my God! The continuous obstacles that are popping up. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. Oh, we're gonna burn her tent can. down. They'd have their backs turned to me. This is I still a need lot, a place dude. to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp, far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. That'd be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. That whole little sort of foreshadowing of her saying, Yeah, well, careful of the candle. There's wood chips everywhere. <sighs> this feels really harsh if this is his plan. It's such a nice tent. The Pr Promethean tradition, pre-Socratic, pre-Socratic philosophy. Is there a sock company called Socrates yet? Like novelty socks with philosophical quotes on? Because there should be. And you're welcome to use that idea for an Etsy store if you want. Kayla and her family, I'm assuming. I wonder how long it's been since she saw him. Anyone who knits, go for it. Knit some socks. Some Socrates. Uh, are we gonna do something to the statue? Oh no! With all the flammable lacquer oh, and no. varnish, this thing catching fire Sam. is sure to divert attention. Not the bad. It's out of the way, so no one should get hurt. But there will be lots of chaos. Burn the tent. I just need to work out the exact details. Bloody hell! Okay. These shavings would be perfect kindling. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a sec. Varnish. Can's empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. Mm-hmm. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. 
The statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other option. <laughs> Just afterwards, and it's like, why did you burn place down? I needed a distraction. There's a lot of other distractions that you could have had. You could have just asked me to, you know, talk to them for you and let you go up there. That's why we came here. I could have distracted them. No, I had to burn something. Varnish. Can's empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. Okay. Did you look at everything? I can get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough ah, to distract. Ah, that bucket of sand. Small enough yeah. to be manageable. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. Or do you, Sam? You little psycho. Trunk. And also there was mention of somebody having a fire, fire extinguisher. extinguisher here yeah. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dickie. Okay. If I hid Tyler's keys... It'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. And then there's this bucket of sand. Not a concern. Sand is effective against fire, but not that effective. All right, Sam. Just revels in telling me I'm wrong, doesn't he? And what do we have in here? Maybe some water or something? It's deep enough. Could squeeze in here. Gonna hide. Bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. Okay. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. Please don't hide under the table, Sam. You seem to enjoy wood sculptures. You'd have to be an idiot not to. I'm creating something out of nothing and then turning it into something else. Well, it's as close to real magic as we can get. Yeah. It'd well, be a real shame we'll if uh, anything happened to the like biggest you thing to. you've done. Wouldn't it? Stares into the fire ominously. Sam? You okay, Sam? What do you mean by that, Sam? It sounded like a threat, Sam. I'm in my mind palace. If I sabotage Lynette's old hose, she'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. Okie dokie. Was that all you needed, buddy? I've got everything I need, but I won't be able to do it by myself. Oh my god. I need Anna's help. Psst, Anna. We're gonna burn that bear. Sorry, what? Shh. Come with me. Hey, uh, Anna. Can I have a quick sidebar? I hope that she just calls this out as absolutely lunatic behavior right now. I found him. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't going to be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? <laughs> mm -hmm. Distraction to get to Dickie. Drifts into his own hand. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. I don't, why are we hiding? So we pick Tyler a hiding place. Will leave to put the fire out. It'll give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed. Like, could it, it's a... It's a woodland. Couldn't you just pretend you're leaving and then sneak around from behind? Such bizarre behavior. Tyler will immediately run to his van to get the fire extinguisher. If he does get it, the fire won't burn for long. Okay. So we were gonna... Hide the keys. First step, the statue goes up in flames. This will get everyone's attention. All right. Oh. Before, what should Anna do? Get the keys. 
Break the hose, hide the keys. First, hide the keys. Because they'll go for the fire extinguisher first, okay? Lynette will go for her hose. She's right next to it. Definitely a problem. But then how do we take care of that? Can I do that? What do we... I feel like you should grab the keys. The music's cool, though. Where to hide? Let's hide... Under the table is a stupid idea. Pantry? I'm not sure. I guess in the cupboard. In the closet. Get in there. When to come out. When the fire blazes after JR last to help once alone. Huh? She does the keys. I set the fire. Gets the hose. I'm hiding. <laughs> People would move differently based on what Anna does. Like a spider in the kitchen. I need to keep it in mind. Spotted. After JR. Okay. Behind the curtain. Silver people. Okay, he calls him. I got my bucket of sand. People would move differently based on what Anna does. I need to keep it in mind. But we took the keys. So how did he even? Okay, break the hose then. Try that. It's a little frustrating that this just feels very process of elimination. It's not kind of obvious what you should do, I don't think, unless I'm just... I don't get it. Is she going to call for help with the hose and that will stop him from going, or...? You get straight in there. She has... If Anna breaks the hose, Lynette will look for a spare in the closet. Oh my god! Okay, then you want to hide in a different place. Dun, 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 dun. That music kind of had Dead by Daylight vibes about it. <laughs> Under the table. I'm invisible. <laughs> Tyler will see me under there if he comes into the cabin. So good. Mate. Alright. So wait. That was because we were in... Wasn't I behind the curtain that time? And then we came out and she saw us, right? So then we have to go... When the fire blazes? Once alone, maybe. Let's see. I don't think this is it either. Maybe it's once the fire's burning? You just, zzz, just run. Or just sneak into the woods and, you know... Excuse me. I'm hiding. I'm invisible. He can't see me. He gets his bucket. Oh, 
Oh, that is. Yeah. Okay. God, play hell. That'll do it. No one will see me get to Dicky. I need to time everything carefully. I'll only get one shot. One shot. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. Then trust me. He's like Doctor Strange. Yeah, he's doing the exact same thing in that. During, that took about 30 minutes in real life of Anna just looking at him whilst he did the whole like head wobbling Doctor Strange thing. And just slowly held up his one finger afterwards. Well, bye bye bear. Someone I feel so bad. This is her everything. hobby and her passion. Help! That like something's wrong with the hose. I'm not getting any pressure. I can't believe be Anna right didn't there. say that this Just is a on. terrible idea. I feel Hurry. awful. Hurry, Hurry, the bear is burning. Okay, okay. so oh no. Like, you didn't actually need to look back and watch Sam. That was really messed up, what you just did. Like a serial killer returning to the scene of the crime. Oh, shit! Shit! What the hell? I've been looking for you. We need to talk. Oh, no, look. I'm real sorry I clocked you and shit. You clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. You took something from Nick's computer. What was it? Where is it? I didn't know what was gonna happen, man, I swear. I'm a nobody, all right? I'm just a guy trying to get by, that's all. I just wanna take care of my moms and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him, but just like a quote or something. I don't have time. What did you steal? His notes about his article, about the dealing and the, the drugs and <clears throat> names of dealers, and sellers, buyers, everything. I had to or I was gonna be next. You've gotta believe me. What'd you do with him? Where are they? His voice I don't like, have them, doesn't necessarily fit his face. I left the stick at the dead drop up at makeout point. He'll pick it up soon and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Declan? Shut the cop. You know Ooh. him, everyone knows him. Oh, man, the sheriff guy. Now. Oh, well, not the sheriff. The lady's the sheriff, again. but... I'm fucking done! But how was I supposed to know Nick was gonna stir shit up? Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me! Come on! Just let me go! Please, <clears throat> I already told you I mean, he didn't seem like a great cop when he was... No, just let me go, all right? I really gotta leave town before he finds me! Tell me more! Oh, You're not going anywhere until you tell me what happened. So? Oh, hell, man! Declan made me set up a meet with Nick, all right? I, I thought they were just gonna talk his shit. Nick freaked out when he saw Declan. He he tried to bail. Am I really getting the answers now? Hit him behind the head. Then Nick dropped, man. He dropped like that. The cop Declan killed him. Declan said he didn't mean to. She said it was an accident and shit. He killed Nick. I didn't know, man. You gotta believe me. I never wanted. Man, he didn't. He didn't hey, ass wife. The pig. Should have known. Damn fire bug. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Sam. Come on. You fucking coward. Someone give me my rifle. <laughs> Someone give me my rifle. Hold me back. Hold me back. I'm aiming at you. You better get out of here. Go skedaddle. Like, who are you shouting to get you a rifle? Like, three people live here, dude. Get it yourself. It doesn't make any sense. None of it does. Why would Declan do that? He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drop. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what Declan Ooh, was I like up to. I like that it's raining now. Our word against his won't cut it. 
That stick is the only way we'll take him down. Or maybe you can just stay out of this? He's back. Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory... I wonder if that scene would have been corner. different this if we listened to him. Do you know what? This time we're going to listen to him. Puzzle. And you're dealing with so a that man he comes along with us. Whose go-to solutions to problems has been to kill them away. Remember what you promised Joe. Anna will not be safe where you're going. Because I think the reason he didn't appear is because of Nick our back. choices there. You can still save yourself and Anna. Breathe. Focus. Think it through. Declan's already killed two people. Sam, I know it's been a rough day, but you're freaking me out. Stop zoning out. We're just about there, and I need you to help me figure out our next steps. Next steps? You At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. No, that's too dramatic. It'll probably be something quiet, simple. Oh, I feel like it's important to listen to her, but... Took too many pills? Who questioned that? You're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the very real dangers. You need to focus on the road, not Who would on you listen to? Just, just stop. Her you're him. the one that needs to stop. Sam, you're going too fast. You're gonna crash. You need to stop. Leave me Sam, alone. Stop it. Sam, Sam, Sam stop. There's a turret. Stop. Stop. Sam, stop. Stop. got us killed. I need... I need a moment. Take your moment, but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. Hmm. Oh, another little panic attack, I think. We need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Ah, uh, what's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here. I'm trying, but it's not working. Ah. <clears throat> uh. No. No. Who's in control of my own mind? I really feel like our imaginary are friend you? character. Can you hear me? I should have a bow tie on. He looks like he would really rock a bow tie. He's a bow tie Can type. Hear me? A dicky bow, you know? Fine. I'll come to you. Kind of uh, shades of the medium in some of these scenes a little bit, but not as dark, what? not as scary. I'm not gonna like this. Okay, do not freak out. You've been through this before. Back in the same room again. Try going the other way. Exit. 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 Stick to the fundamentals. Breathe. And also some of it kind of has a vibe of control, which is a fantastic game if people haven't played that one. It still keeps going. It feels like I'm trapped in a maze. Which is kind of like... question is, where does it lead? If you like shows like X-Files and Fringe... And it's by the people who did Alan Wake and Max Payne. And uh, Quantum Break, I think their other game was called, which I actually haven't played. Halted by our terrible decision to burn that down. I wish there'd been another way. There probably was so many other ways, Sam. You're a terrible person. It's alright. Voice got caught there. Sorry I burnt your bear. There you are. You and I need to talk. What? What's happening? Bow, 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 bow. Remember the facts, Sam. Way. That's how you'll get through this. The way. This is the way. The gas canister. That one's a gas canister. What's this one? I don't know what that's meant to be. I guess in the gas can because it was used on the car. Hmm. 
losing control of my own mind again. Hmm. I'm almost making it a habit. At least I'm not being chased this time, right? At least not yet. Wonder what's in store for me now. Hmm. on there and I'm back to square one hmm three on each maybe it's the one with the most broken stuff around it unless it's a numbers thing Always starting from the same position and looking at the same door. Okay. Always tackle a problem head on. Of course. Yes. There's no running away from it. I always feel like these trippy sort of nightmare story dream sequence walkthroughs must be really fun to design if you're an environment artist or something. Just getting to be like, yeah, and then we'll have like a big minor statue and it's kind of, it's, you know, giant, but it's heads coming up through the thing and coming up with uh, all the weird stuff. Dennis's murder, fought back, shot, no chance. So which way would it be? Uh, they both kind of look the same. Hmm. What's the difference here? I don't see a difference. Is this not both the same thing? What's up, Liv? How are you doing? Happy Friday. What's up, Evil, as well? Hello, hello. And anyone else who's come in? It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Hmm. I guess that wasn't the way. interview today. Well, good luck. I hope it went well. Did you uh, come out of it with a good feeling? I want to see what's down this way. Nearly seven or eleven or eight. What 
time was it for the break-in? Nick's funeral, pub, wake. I feel like that was at night time. I guess maybe eight. Try seven then. Hey, boy. Cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually like. Mm -mm. The last one. I was just being a completionist. Obviously, I knew it was that one from the beginning. They both deserve to be happy. <laughs> you look like you really believe that, dude. Ah, uh, my ex and my best friend. Is this to be it? Is that? Think it went well? Awesome. Good luck, good luck. Your mother told me what happened. But I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. I'm rebranding to Tardigrade Men. Not always. But I'm not always happy either. Being happy isn't everything. I'd say it's more important to find out who you want to be than to be happy. Here. I brought you something. It's so clear. I can see it all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. <clears throat> it can see itself for what it really is. And that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw. It's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. <laughs> Her face cracks me up, dude. She looks so weird just then. No. I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? It'll be my second channel, my secret channel, Tardigrade Man. Rename Follow my uh, second TikTok account. Follow him. He's over there. What? Which one are you? Sam, where are you? Sam, where are you? Gotta be Sam, this one. Where are you? Sam? Sam. The others are a distraction. Sam, come with me. Sam, come with me. Follow me. I am. Very closely, in fact. Sam, come with me. Hmm. Don't leave me, Lee. I don't have a lot of friends. No one at school talks to me, and you promised. Don't leave me, Lee. I don't have a lot of friends. No one at school talks to me and- Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. What's on her top? And why is it saying shh? It's not you, Bug. 
It's this town. Oh, I was meant to listen to more than pick one. I can't stay. Okay, miss. None of that is my fault. I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair. I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once. I guess I picked the right thing. Hello? What was that Sam? snare drum? Put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. Listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. Quick, toss the ring. Make a joke. If you don't manage to save face, it's over. Okay, so it's probably the guy behind, right? Tell her you want this. Be forward. She'll reconsider. If you don't, it's over. Well, we know that it was over, so it must be this guy. I thought that's what we were supposed to do. I'm sorry, I just... I just wanted to fix things. Such so bad, dude. Fix things with engagement Sam, or like a baby or anything like that is an awful idea. <laughs> the approving. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Nod, nod, nod. What's this? The last time we talked to Nick, maybe. You're leaving town just like that. Not even an explanation for an old friend. Tell him the reasons. Give him a few and he'll be fine. I mean, we pretty much ghosted, right? I don't think we gave him any reason when we left. Apologize. He wants to know it's not his fault. Maybe tell him you'll call. Listen, man, don't be jelly just because I'm the one getting out of this small town, you know? He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. I would go with this one if I was if it was me and see what happens. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I I think I hate me. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back, no matter where you go. Mm, mm, mm. Not, 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 snare drum, not. I know you don't want to talk about it, but he's your son. <sighs> Who this? I know the real you is here. The rest are just illusions. I have to focus. You. Him. You. Him. The real me. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. Focus. Hmm. I'm guessing it's the one talking to himself over here. Was I looking at the stars? He said something about that earlier. No? They just want to put useless labels on him. <laughs> Why are, you, why are you sitting like that? Stop, dude. What is this? Is this a photo shoot? Behave. Wait. No. No. Where's the other one? Oh, there we go. Fixing a shelf.
Lawrence, what is this? This is us as a kid. Oh my god, he actually is an imaginary friend. Could be a kid version of the friend. You were there when no one else was, and you've been there every step I've taken since. Hmm. Would people have imaginary friends that are kids their age? I always feel like imaginary friends were like characters. Sort of like, not necessarily like an adult, but they were just, they were like adult characters rather than other kids. I don't know if I've ever heard of like a imaginary friend that's a kid equally. I don't know. I'm ready. Drop Dead Fred, classic. Love Rick Mail so much. Dun, 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 dun. I don't remember having an imaginary friend, but I don't remember a lot. I have a pretty bad memory. I have a lot of friends in my head to make up for it now. Wow, that looks cool. Damn. That looks amazing. My dream. In between waterfalls. Martha, is that you? You here? That girl was me. Eesh. This is here. very Martha is dead right now, even though this game came first. Just sitting in front of the mirror having a conversation. You've opened yourself up a lot more than I expected. Especially to Joan and Anna. You're finally back on the right path. I believe some of the credit is mine. Why does it have to be so complicated out there? I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. A little therapy session. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? You always make it sound like you care, but all you want is to change me. But the two halves of your world they don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human. Mm -hmm. And there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope, who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, 
Sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. This guy definitely buys his socks at Socrates. Just saying. Facts, not things. I've made up my mind. I don't know if I can do that. You make it sound so easy. I'm not sure I'm ready to let it go. It'll take a lot of work, but we can get you there. No one can enjoy life when they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders. What about the world? Everything has a price. It kind of is life, isn't it? Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even today, without you, I would still be lost in my own head, in my own panic. Well, technically, that's kind of the case right now. Still, I'll take the compliment. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society. Be happy. Let things go. Accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. I can't even follow it's this. Time. What? Two roads, what? and you can only take one. That was very good timing. I was literally had just grabbed my water bottle and I was opening it in my lap and then he said stay hydrated and I shall and I shall sit up straight and mull this decision. Choose him or choose the mind palace. Huh? I don't understand. What am I choosing between? Um thank you, Salty Chicky. I appreciate it for the hundred biddies. Choosing a path. I guess choosing him is choosing for him to still exist and help us, and the Mind Palace is myself. Right? I'm kind of confused. I feel like what they said didn't really make much sense. I was trying to follow it, but I don't really get what he was getting at, what these two choices are, honestly. What would you pick? I feel like choosing the friend because it would be sad to get rid of your imaginary friend if they were the only one who had been there for you your whole life. Hmm. does have the wise socks. Choose him or choose you. Choose yourself. Bet on yourself. Bet on your friend. Imaginary friend. He was a bit mean to us in the car. He's a little toxic, isn't he? Whispering in our ears about burning bears and stuff. Hang on, Sam. That was all you. Shut up. You're taking the blame for that one, too. I don't trust him. I don't trust anyone. I don't know. The mind palace. The friend. The mind palace. Well, do you know what? The mind palace has been a lot more useful than he has, actually. If this is what I'm choosing between going forward. Palace. truth is worth more than any of us. If that's what the Damn choice is, yeah. Damn being happy. I was afraid you'd say that. But you have to be you. I'll see you around. No, you won't, Sam. Damn it. But good luck. world is an ugly place when you can really see it. Hmm. 
it is kind of sad. I would have liked some more bonding between them to lead up to this moment to really hammer it home. I don't feel like we really had any touching moments with him. He was kind of always just bickering at us and telling us what to do, but maybe if we'd had some more flashbacks and things of them doing stuff as kids and being there, then that would have been a mo lot more impactful. He was kind of just felt like representative of that nagging voice in your head This is just telling you that you're wrong and stuff. Damn, we don't have time for this. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. <clears throat> but I'm calling it now that we do this, and if we get a good ending, he'll look over to the side or something at the end, 100% in the final cutscene, and we'll see him doing the happy nod like he's proud of us. Nodding his head, nodding his head, nodding dog, nodding dog, and then he'll fade away. I'm calling that right now. Attaboy, Sam. And then... Disappearing. If Declan arrives... He's going to see the car. He'll know someone is here. Where'd she go? Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Be careful. I like how he points out that the car shouldn't stay there and then does nothing about it. Looks down there and the whole town is just ablaze. <laughs> Bong. Fire spread tonight after someone set light to a bear. Oh god, looks like I'm leaving the town again. Case of suspected arson. Finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. I was worried about you. Hmm. It's fine. I'm okay now. We have to get this done. That's true. So I guess this could be all of this madness coming to a close, right? Hopefully in the good way. Maybe we can bring Nick and Dennis some justice. I'm ready to see it end. We should get back to finding those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere. Someone is definitely going off the cliff. He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. Emergency phone. Wasn't that a thing that was like... <sighs> the dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. I don't feel like we saw that somewhere. The dead drop. This would be the classic choice, but no. Nothing. Not in the bin. Oh, the food locker. They made a big deal out of that, right? When we were first up here? Bar. Rotten food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. Oh, it's a USB stick. That could be anywhere. It's inside the teddy bear. It's so dark. I don't know why I let this place haunt me for so long. Hmm. Eat. He has that area covered. Better to look somewhere else. A precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. Dun, 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 dun. You know what, Sam? You should put that on some socks. Oh. Literally there. Oh my god, I'm so blind. Found it. 
<laughs> it's that's the worst hiding place. They Let didn't even see. put it in the bear. Yeah, it was just stuck to the side of the food locker. We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Have these guys ever seen a spy movie? Oh. Declan. Now, you two just relax. You we were here for the same reason. No, you there have to is. Do, give me what you found in that there lockbox. You. Thanks, Mentis. How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think. Hmm. Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. You killed him because he did his job. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. Please tell me we're recording this on our phone. This time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? Like, we're both journalists. We 100% have to be recording this in our pockets or something. Alright, next question, officer. Why are you in your uniform? It's like midnight. Shouldn't you be off duty? I never take my uniform off. I sleep in this. Right. Third question. You always seem to care about this town. Its history, its people. Why do this? I care more about this town than anyone. I've spent my whole life protecting it. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. There's got to be a final I'm done twist here. This is too obvious and forward. You asshole! Oh, God. This is not how you do it. God, the fact that Anna is just like struggling with this guy with get the gun right now, and she's probably just like screaming, Sam, get the gun, get the gun, Sam, Sam. In my mind, palace, 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 palace. Sam, I can't hold him any longer. Have to think and move fast. Stay one step ahead of Declan. If I make even a single mistake, there are no second chances this time. He murdered Nick, he murdered Dennis, and he'll murder us. If I can predict his next moves, we might be able to get the upper hand. Interesting. So I'm thinking... Who he is will tell me what he'll do. Picking the other option previously, obviously you would have that guy with you here and he would have to advise you maybe. And perhaps he wouldn't be able to really think this out and slow it down. That's probably what changes things. I will say, this has felt very linear so far. It would be interesting if anything has actually changed what's going on, but um, I think that one choice we just made previously is probably the biggest choice in the game, so far at least. Declan came to tie up loose ends that night. Asshole shot me with my own gun. There's a good chance he took it. Still has it on him. You need to watch out. You're no good to anyone dead. Take it from me. Bum, bum. Fighting back, Nick. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for those hundred biddies, and I'm glad that you enjoy the Here stuffs. We. It's time to give it your all. Don't underestimate Declan. He's, He's stronger than he looks. Anna's got maybe a couple of seconds tops before he overpowers her. You gotta find a way to stop him, Sam. He'll kill you both. 
it just feels obvious to sprawl for the gun, doesn't it? I could try going for his gun. Ah, but that was that tip is that he probably still has the other gun, so we'll probably get the gun and he'll pull his right? Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. I mean, how good of a throw are you? That's... I feel like... Wouldn't you be better off shooting and trying to hit the right person than throwing a rock? Kind of hard to be... Accurate. Are these my only two options? What should you do? Rush to gun, look, throw rock. This is dangerous. I have to weigh my options carefully. No margin for error. Huh. I mean, if the options are rushing to the gun or throwing the rock, I feel like having the gun is the best option because I feel like he has a gun. Like, that's what Dennis is saying, right? Declan came to tie up loose ends that night. Asshole, Asshole shot me with my own gun. There's a good chance he took it. Still has it on. Like, if someone has a gun, isn't it better to have a gun than a rock? No good to anyone dead. Take it from me. Because if I throw the rock and it hits him, then he's going to pull the gun and I don't have the gun. I could tackle Declan to get him off Anna. Oh, well, that makes sense, right? That feels better. That feels like a better option. I feel like we're definitely going over this, but... That feels safer for her. Get him down, you know, take care of badness. And then he said, stronger than he looks. So I feel like that was the clue there. The gun just feels too obvious, right? It feels like it's gonna be a bad ending. The gun feels very much like, oh, just go for the gun and shoot him and then terrible things happen. Which makes me feel like throwing the rock. But only because I'm trying to second guess like the mechanics of the situation. I think tackling him is definitely wrong because of what Nick said. I Gun or rock, guys? What do you think? What would you do? Gun or rock? Doesn't seem like we're getting a preview. We might do, but I want to be careful just in case. Anna's got this, let her do her thing. Yeah, just watch. I'm feeling rock. If it's gun, I would be surprised, but also just it feels too obvious. <sighs> Press spacebar to carry out the action in the real world. So this is it. You don't get a, a run through. Just the one. It's gotta be this. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. Think some more, execute the action. Ba bing. Shoot her? Or did she just get thrown back? He shot like up, right? Declan can't see me. Okay. I have to use this to my advantage. Oh, this is like multiple. I should strike moves. him on his blind side and use the element of surprise. But that'll only work if I can predict what he'll do next. This is very much like Sherlock fighting, isn't it? Think Sam. Inside hook to ribs. Need to keep it up. Cracked lung, out of breath. Palm strike to draw. What would Declan do next? If I can predict Declan's next action, I'll have a chance to get the jump on him. I feel like he'll try and shoot her. It's kind of my gut feeling. You know, Declan's killed two people already. Put them in the dirt. But he kills for reasons, yeah? He wants, he wants to, to destroy, destroy the evidence. Mm hmm. Since your girlfriend has it. Yeah. You better act fast, man. Yeah. This is a homeboy, he said. 
Oh, and he said, protect my daughter. That man is a monster. And he'll kill, kill you and my little girl as soon as spit. But he ain't dumb. If he uses his service gun, gun, it'd be traced back to him. So he would want to get and the other gun. Covering his track so far. Okay. So there's this gun here. Police gun. Declan might go for his gun. He won't go for that one. If I can predict Declan's next action, I'll have a chance to get the jump on him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Declan might attack me now. Nope. You don't have to fight. Just leave. None of this has to ever hurt you again. I'm done running. It's definitely going for her. Declan might continue going after Anna. Yeah. That's what's gonna happen. So what are you gonna do? He would attack Anna. Yep. It's gotta be. If Declan goes after Anna, my best move is to strike from the right. Give me the evidence now. You want to get shot? Wait! Here, take it. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> what an idiot. Ah! Oh. something we're dead but if I do the wrong thing I have to stay focused count for all the elements at play here hmm we're doing well I have to stay one step ahead of Declan okay what should you do? Dude, I'm so curious what this would play out like if you picked the other uh, thing. I could try calling for help. Yeah, ha hang on, Mr. Officer. I just want to use the phone for a second. My one phone call. That ugly yellow phone is your best, best chance to call for help. That big jerk's not stupid. He'll probably, He'll probably keep an eye on that phone. He's pointing a gun at us. Get behind cover. Okay. What's Nick got to say? You have to save Anna. We you dragged, dragged her into this mess. I dragged her into this mess. <clears throat> if you could distract Declan, Anna might have, have time, time to get the gun. Keep his eyes, eyes on you, Sam. If you can distract him, he might have. To, she might have time to get the gun. I mean, to be fair, I didn't even live here, so I didn't drag anyone into this mess. You dragged us both into this mess by getting yourself killed, Nick. Let's just uh, get that straight, okay? Buddy. Old pal. This is kind of all Bugs' fault, actually. When you think about it. Kids, you know? I could rush him and try and take his gun out of the equation. So what is the options? Oh. Call for help. Dodge behind the tree. I can't see. Hang on. Try to move the gun away. Call for help. Dodge behind the tree. Ah oh, man, try and move the gun away? Oh no. This fit oh no. Dodging feels like he's just going to turn around and shoot her or leave or get the evidence or whatever it is. Trying to use the phone seems like a terrible idea. I guess we have to rush him. If we rush him and just delay it for a second, she can get that gun, get him in the back. Kind of feels like the right thing to do, right? 
That would keep her most safe. Declan is focused on me. I have to make this moment count. Or is me dodging enough of a distraction? <sighs> Gun. Oh boy. If I can get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky. Pop, pop. Think some more. Wait, let me see what the move looks like if you did the other thing. Pew! Behind the tree. I don't know. That just seems like a bad idea. <laughs> ring, ring. Ring, ring. Hold on, Declan. They haven't picked up yet. Ring, ring. Hello. There's a police officer trying to kill me. If I can get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky. Risk it for the biscuit. <coughs> Go on, Anna. Get it. Shoot him. Your gun, Declan. Anna. Ah. Oh. Why did you speak? Hello. Just shoot A woman him. has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry. It's your fault for having a line. You should have just said, "Bang." Okay. Oh, good. God. Stay with me. You Sorry, have it's in to the shoulder. She's okay. I'm fine. Don't worry. Anna, Anna, please. Oh no, she's not fine. That's some mind palace you got there, bud. Do over? Redo? Another Perry shot. James at 1043 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? A local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used Crazy. his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover up. Good news, however, the journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Phew. Correct choice made. Well done, everyone. Looks like I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna. It's a beautiful day. Wow. Quite an exciting ending, if not a little predictable. Like, predictable, but still exciting. Because we kind of called the drugs thing as soon as we were in that pharmacy. It was like, hmm. Maybe there'll be a last twist in the tale. But even if not, still a uh, enjoyable little mystery romp for six hours. Sam, hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. There's got to be more to it. We've got to go talk to that How pharmacist. Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but you don't change what happened. What do you mean? My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. Joe. No, Anna told me what you did. How hard you fought. Thank you. For oh, okay. Keeping your word. I thought he was about to chew us out. I had to. That promise kept me going. I bet it did. But you better not drag my daughter into any more dangerous situations, all right? <laughs> You're like, don't worry, I'm leaving tomorrow, Jesus. Just came to say goodbye, dude. This town sucks. It still sucks. Wish I never came back. Sam! Don't be so rude. Sorry, was I saying that out loud? I used to say those things in my head to my imaginary friend, but he's gone now, so... What the hell are you talking about? Sorry, sorry. Still getting used to uh, this whole being in the real world thing. Uh, it's weird, you know? Where are they? 
Where are Dad's notebooks? The yellow legal pad ones? You can get them later. You need to say hello to the guests who just arrived. The yellow ones were Dad's favorites. I wanted to start Joan? using them. Uh, they've got to be here somewhere. Just Joan give me Waldron. a minute. Don't make me say it again. Fine. I guess it doesn't really matter. Careful, Muley. She's in one of her moods. I'm sorry you had to see that. It was hard before, but now she's completely shut me out. It's not surprising, given what happened. This town has no place for a teenager. Kathy, now is the time to get out of Basswood. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. <sighs> Any advice? Um, on the outfit, or because the denim on the cardigan, like the knitted sweater, is a very bold choice. But I guess get help with your addiction, also. Kathy, when did you start taking opioids? What? What does that have to do with? What do you think happens if someone finds out and reports you? You could lose your job. How dare you? You don't know anything about what I've been through. How many pills did you take before you got dressed this morning? You need to get help. Oh, and who's gonna look after Joan in the meantime? Who'll pay for the treatment, huh? Don't you have family in the region? Well, I... There is my sister down in Virginia, but I... But you're not on good terms. Joan told me. Are Still, we gonna take care of her? You don't her? have a choice if you intend to keep custody of her. While she gets You've clean? You've been a cold-hearted asshole. You know that? Do her a favor and forget about us for good this time. Oh. What? I'm trying to help you. We got, why don't we just take care of her for a while here with Anna and Joe and like hang around for, you know, a few months, whatever it takes to get clean. What the heck? Jeez, your mom's a real Karen, huh? What about Kathy? Hey, Bug. Hey, Muley. How are you holding up? Fine, I guess. Well, at least that's what most people want me to say when they ask. Come on, Bug. I want to know how you feel. How you really feel. I guess... better today than yesterday? Maybe? I still miss Dad. That's progress. But... Finding out what happened to him, I don't know, makes me feel a bit better. You're welcome. It's not bad, but it makes me feel better, right? You're welcome. No, it's not bad. At least it feels like, like, Declan didn't just get away with it. You're you welcome. Know? Yeah, and of course, it still feels bad. Your dad is still gone. I know. And that sucks <laughs> and and also it's just if i hadn't told you about dad maybe anna wouldn't have gotten hurt you didn't do anything wrong you deserve to know the truth so you don't think i was just selfish dragging you and anna into it we wouldn't have caught declan without you that was my choice and anna she's not your fault all right okay I'm glad you think so. Hey, Muley. Are you staying around this time? I can't stay, Bug. I got a sock company to oh. build. <laughs> I talked to your mom. She's gonna try to do better by you. Be strong. Try to understand her. She needs you. I mean, the mom has shown zero redeeming qualities up to this point. This kid's for sure running away or leaving this town as soon as she's old enough. Um, have <laughs> Buck do child labor, yeah. Get her in the back making some socks. Um, be strong. You be strong for you, for yourself. It won't be easy, but I know you can be strong. You have to try to work with her. She's still your mom. Uh, I'll try. I'm gonna miss you, Muley. I'll really miss you. Me too, Bug. I need to find Anna. Call me whenever you want to. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Do a little pinky swear. Do a little pinky swear. Oh, come on. 100% they should have uh, renewed the pinky swear and like done some another thing with it. Like a new promise. Mmm. Mmm. I'm 
hungry. So much stuff. Anna won't have to buy food for weeks. Man, I guess it's their way of making her feel better. Bag that up and take it in the car with you, Sam. What do we got there? Some, like, ribs? Oh, these look so good. Hot dogs? They look like they're covered in a bunch of stuff. And a pie? I'm pretty sure she was shot in the shoulder, her eating shoulder. She can't even lift a spoon. You know, you'd be helping her out if you took it with you. She won't miss it. I think she's on smoothies for a while. Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so... impersonal. How are you holding up? I totally thought this guy was connected somehow, and involved. just from the first moment we saw him, and him being the first person to greet us, to give us a hug, but really he was just a big old teddy bear. Just a big old book-loving teddy bear. Talking about dickens and all sorts, wasn't he? Well, let's say that I've had better weeks. Not a hard thing to believe. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the maker here and there. And I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life affirming though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. It might be time for me to finally hang up my saddle. The basswood jungle has printed its last pages. Oh. It's making you think it's finally the right time to retire, huh? Believe me, it doesn't feel right one bit, but my flame has run its course. Without Nick, without Dennis. Can't run a paper by yourself. Nor would I want to. Well, I, I've taken up enough of your time. I'll leave you to the other guests. Drop me a line sometime. Drop me a line. Narrator, he didn't drop him a line. The truth is, Sam, I've started a TikTok account. I find I'm reaching so many more people than with my print media. We have this big HQ here and we print papers in this small town and nobody even reads them. They speed read the first two paragraphs at most. They skim our articles. They read the headlines and sometimes browse the website. I have to keep this kid on staff to update the WordPress blog. I don't even know how to check my email, Sam. Inside. And you make sure to push yourself. Get some fresh air. Don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now. Oh, Sam, you're finally here. I was looking for you. Ow. Now I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, well, I got some good news for you for once. We gotta talk we found about these Declan's pants. fingerprints on Dennis's gun. And since your testimony and Anna's corroborate Dickie's statement, no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. Nervous. Trying to cover up her mistakes. Worried about her re-election chances. Hmm. Hmm. I will tell the full story, but you do have a lot to answer for. Poke. You and the Basswood police have a lot to answer for. A lot. We do. Declan pulled the wall over all of our eyes. Did he, though? All I can say is, we're all just people. Mm. Ain't no such thing as the Basswood police. Just people entrusted with power. I don't know. And Declan, as terrible as it seems he was, was not always a bad person. My sin is failing to see the man he became, rather than the one he once was. You had responsibility. You were his commanding officer. I don't believe You're the you only saw one nothing. Who could have stopped him. You're entitled to your opinion, 
Everyone is. I saw it going on on my no first day in town. Best. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. Don't touch me. Though I guess you always do, huh? What's that supposed to mean? Throw something at her, Sam. Ah, oh, she's gone. Too late. Man, she's like Batman. She's, uh, she's pretty quick for an old bird. Don't waste all your time with me. My daughter will want to see you. Just stay away from me and my daughter. Why are you so rude to me? So, so, buttons, I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. I meant to get here before, but you look better. Better than last week, I guess, but that's setting a low bar. It could have been even worse if you hadn't, you know, you saved my life. Bum, bum, bum. What's up, Heaven? I'm glad you're enjoying them. Thank you. I put you at risk. We saved each other. You saved me. Oh no, the old. You fixed me. I don't fix you. You fix me. I don't do nothing. You saved me, baby. Um, I put you at risk. I mean, we knew what we were getting into. She's a journalist. We were there. Partners in crime. Going through it together. Setting bears on fire. She was all aboard the lunatic train. We saved each other. You saved me. Ah, oh, it's, uh... Where's the you're welcome option? You know? We saved each other. Did we? I mean, yeah, you grabbed the gun. You kind of saved my life. But he was shooting at you. I don't know. You saved me. Whatever. Have it. Have this win. You made sure I didn't get killed. You always you win, shot. don't you? Yeah, but only in a part I didn't need. I'm stronger than ever. Ow. <laughs> stronger mentally. What's wrong? I wish we'd gotten those files. The guy who was behind it all broke his neck trying to kill us. Case closed. Or is it? There's still something missing. Something eating at me. Real mysteries don't wrap up in nice little bows. Maybe. Just for once. No. Turn your brain off. No, no, no. There's more to this. So what are you going to do next with your unshot and healthy body? Hmm. Get my life in order, find a job, or finish Nick's article. Or all of the above. Seemed like a pretty good idea. But I think we should finish Nick's article. I'll finish up Nick's article. It's the least I can do for him. It's the least we can do. We'll finish the article together. Uh-huh. Bugs looking for bugs. Oh, that's a- yeah, that's I cute. Her looking go. away in that bush. It's like a little Animal Crossing villager back there. I had a feeling you would say that. With the magnifying glass out. stay out of trouble, Sam Higgs. And maybe don't wait so long to darken my doorstep again. I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? <laughs> totally thinking about the fact that you got with my best friend as I said that, and I'm walking away, and I'm never going to see you again. Goodbye. Um... Uh, can we go inside the house and have a look around? Some there's small there's some little snoops around in here. No, not allowed. Okay, let's keep looking. I guess we'll see, won't we? Hmm. Let's have a look around.
Okay, so it's just, just leave. What's the journal say? Leave. Anna's finally out of the hospital and back at home again. It's a relief. So is the fact that we got answers we needed, even if it was too late to save Nick too. That tranquil, soothing place that only exists in my mind will always help me see things clearly in the real world too. Now all that's left to do is to say goodbye to Anna before I can finally leave Basswood. This time for good. What's my stats? I managed to outsmart Declan and protect Anna, 66%. Is this like on Steam, I guess? I chose to keep my mind palace. Only 47% chose that. I slammed Dicky against the wall. <laughs> I slammed my Dicky against the wall to get the truth out of him. 45. Interrupt Tyler. I didn't see the point in talking to Tyler and JR. 45. I refused to listen to him while talking to Anna. 87. I was trying to focus on Anna instead of listening to him. 6%. 25% convinced Joan out of running away. Wow. Does she just, like, disappear otherwise? That seems really low. Good with kids, you know. I sat on the bench to clear my head. 89%. 83% promised Joe I'd protect Anna. I didn't want Anna to dwell on her sorrows. 66%. I probably could have done more for Anna about the house. 85%. Listen, we're here to clean. Cops or not. I didn't call the cops after finding Dennis's body. 22%. With Anna or not, I asked Anna to come with me to investigate the crash site, 24%. 81% told Anna. Talk to Kathy, talk, listen to Joan, listening to Declan, meeting Christina. I took the time to chat with Christina, 68. That was the uh, the nice lady in the coffee shop, right? Only 68% of people talked to her. I kind of like that scene. Ethan is coming. I faced up to Ethan when he found me in the trashed bar, 41. Deal with Ethan, 80%. I apologized. Confronted the minor, 39%. Reunion with Anna. A drink to Nick. Remembering Nick. These were like half. 83% had a reunion with Joan. Reunion with Walter, 89. Okay. Interesting. Feels like the kind of thing they would do at the end of each episode, but this feels like a game that was maybe thought of originally as being episodic and then became just... You know, there were very sort of clear cut points that felt like this would be a three-chapter game, but they decided to just release it as one. Possibly. Uh, I guess I'm leaving then. Alright, bye everyone. See ya. Sorry, I was just in my little mind palace over there thinking about my stats and my percentages about everything that we went through. God damn, I'm so glad that boy's leaving again. He's weird. See ya. Bye. Leaving now. Good luck with the corrupt police in the town and everything. Mr. Higgs. Not surprised to see you here. You. I'm a little surprised to see you. I'm just giving my well wishes to Miss mm. Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. Mm -hmm. The town is better for it. Mr. Outsider. I just got in over my head. I wasn't looking to fix anything. People that do real good rarely are. What you did helped everyone. Mm -hmm. Really boasted the common good. Be proud. What did you say? For the greater good. What did you just say? Go back. Yes! We knew it. He was so suspicious from the beginning. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. 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 Common I don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Has access to opioids. Hiding something. Afraid of someone. Works at drugstore. Patsy. Kathy. Her name's she Kathy. The supplier? <laughs> Out the way. Left drugstore with package. Dealer. Worked for Declan. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Well, the pharmacist was there. He left his card, didn't he? Kill Nick and Dennis. Enforcer, impulsive, rash, not a mastermind. Didn't see the fight, 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 fight. Go check on Joan. 
Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Kathy is scared of him. Drugstore owner saw the fight with Dennis. Him? Dennis. I took Dennis. over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. I'm in good. I'm in good. I'm in good. Young man, is everything all right? Hmm. You're a monster. Um. How dare you? How dare you even come here? You insult his memory by even being here. I wasn't trying to give offense. I, I merely... Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan. Nah. That is a very serious accusation. The kind that without proof would never hold up. Hmm. I saw Dicky picking up a box from your pharmacy. I know he was a dealer. I can draw a straight line through him. Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs. I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted. What they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? Big city boy. Left for the city. Um... Yeah, it's kind of like the reverse evil villain thing, us telling him and accusing him here so he has time to clean up and run away. But I guess it makes for the dramatic showdown, otherwise we would have to just have a boring scene of him leaving and like calling the police. Uh, hello? I don't actually know who did it. I'm here now. My sleeves are rolled up and I'm getting to work. I'm not asking for you to explain, I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Joe. That's probably Kathy. the coolest thing we said this whole Joe. game, honestly. Don't you threaten them. I would never, but you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? If Kathy goes down, it's bad for, jo for Bug, right? He never finished his work because you killed him before he could. I am not, nor have I ever been a violent man. Others I've worked with, a little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father, both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. The question is who profits? Criminals, mobsters, lowlifes? Take out the middle man and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story. Listen, Walter Beige. I... know who he was. It doesn't matter what lies you tell. I knew who Nick really was. Admirable, if misguided. People rarely show their friends who they really are. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise, Kathy, Joe, and Joan will want for nothing. Mm. However, if you follow through with this mm. foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick? Who took bribe? Buried the truth? What will his daughter think? 
when I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter. And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. Option C, I put you in the ground myself. We all live happily ever after. Yeah? No? Any takes? Hello? Uh, accept or refuse. Interesting dilemma. So I accept his offer. He takes care of... What did he say? Kathy, Joan, and who? Anna? Did he say Anna in that as well? That they'll want for nothing? So he'll kind of like take care of them and give them money, I guess. Refuse. The truth comes out. Kathy probably goes down. Bugs probably going into care. But equally, I go to the flip side. Accepting this offer and the whole like, oh, they won't want for anything is like, okay, so then Kathy's just going to spiral into her addiction. She's still going to be working for you, still be taking the opioids. That's not good for Bug. As painful as it is for her to know that her dad, I guess, decided against reporting the story or was a dirty journalist or whatever, is like better than living this drug-filled small-town life with this guy still running the place. I feel like we need to break the story regardless of what happens because we already did the hard bit. You already did half the journey. You started it like the ball is rolling. It's almost like you're going to hurt more people by stopping it rolling than just pushing through and letting the rest of the consequences happen and this guy get exposed, right? Is kind of where my mind would be at with it. It seems like both options are pretty hurtful for the people that you love involved, so may as well not let this guy get what he wants. I think that would be what would turn out best for Bug and for us, because how can you live with that, I think, would be my thinking. In which case, I think I refuse your offer, um, would be my guess. What would you do, though? <laughs> They're great or good. Bring him down. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna finish what Nick started. Maybe you'll go to jail, maybe not. Very topical oh, because no. there is a very real uh, crisis with these drugs. Isn't and they'll there, all course? know the common good America never stuff. factored in. You did it all for yourself. Popping them pills. And I'll make sure the life you've built burns for it. Yeah. <laughs> Give him a little spit at the end. No? Okay. You got more class than me, Sam. <laughs> You should have given me a little punch, though. You know? Little tap. Local pharmacist connected to opioid drug ring. Samuel Higgs, freelance journalist. One million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood. Many sold right here on our streets. The article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior, who turned out to be the mastermind behind this pill mill scheme. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. Oh, how the small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. Yeah, I hope All we right. get info on Bug. I would guess she went to live with the sister. Would be my guess. Today's top story, read by 50 people in local newspaper. 